In this video we share Father Yozo Zuvko on what convinced him of the truth of the apparitions. Father Yozo Zuvko was the Franciscan pastor at St. James Church in Medjugorje when the apparitions began on June 25, 1981. He was arrested and imprisoned for a time defending the young visionaries. On August 11, 1983, Father Yozo Zuvko, at that time parish priest of the Church of Medjugorje, held an interview with Father Zito Zaya in which he stated what had been the sign that convinced him of the authenticity of the apparitions. Father Zito Zaya asks, Father Yozo, after the events on the hill, referring to the first appearances, the anguish remained. What has happened? Father Yozo responds, you speak of anguish. Those days were difficult. It is incredible. Something happened in me that forced me to change my attitude, and not be a simple witness of the stories that the young people told me. Let me tell you something that was enlightening for me. Government officials were sent here to stop the course of events, these people, who were believers, did not do their work with satisfaction. The two social workers in charge of making the young people change, using lies and cunning, presented their resignation because of the experience they had lived through. So the police had to intervene directly. They went to see Vitska's mother to tell her, Zlata, don't let the young people go to the church anymore. Make them give up all this? She replied, I'll see. I don't know who will be able to convince the young people to change their attitude. The police then went in search of the young people to arrest them, since the social workers had failed. Knowing that they were in the field, they set out to capture them. The boys fled towards the church, crossing the vineyards, on the way they had changed their clothes. Meanwhile, I was in the church praying with the Bible and the breviary, I felt the great responsibility that fell before God as a parish priest. It was necessary for him to say a word to the people, to the priests, to the sisters, and to the believers. I felt like Moses before the Red Sea, I knew that God was my only resource. People coming and going were, of course, less affected. I tried to pray like Moses in this difficult situation, to know if it was really God who was leading all this, Lord, I know that you have spoken to Abraham, Moses and many others. Thousands of people are here, tell me at least what are the arguments in favor, and the scope of this matter. I was alone in the church and I felt like a call, a special grace of revelation. During my prayer, I heard a voice telling me, go out and protect the young people. I left my Bible and the breviary, I genuflected and without much reflection, I left. I still had my hand on the lock when I saw the young men running towards me, trying to run away from the police, they shouted. The police are after us, hide us, and started to cry. Anna, Vitska's sister, was with them, so I hugged the young people, led them to the priest's house to an unoccupied room and locked them in. Shortly after the police came running and asked me, did you see the young people? Yes, I saw them, I replied, but they continued to run towards by Jacovisi in order to arrest them. When the agents left I met with the children to talk. I asked them not to leave for greater security and that is how they had the apparition in the parish house. Later, there were seven more apparitions in this same room. That day in the afternoon, it was announced to the pilgrims that a mass would take place in the church. Around five o'clock, I asked Father Chuvalo, parish vicar, to lead the recitation of the rosary and to prepare for the six o'clock mass. There were so many people in the church that I couldn't hold out my hands to say, the Lord be with you. Physically it was impossible, in my homily I asked the crowd to pray and fast in order to ask God for his help for everything that was happening in the parish. The entire crowd responded to my plea with a word of faith, we will. Father Zito Zar asks, what prompted you to celebrate Mass eight days after the first apparition? Father Yozo responds, these motifs are the same as those found in the values of the Mass. It was the best thing he could offer people, 
He wanted those people to stop being spectators to become true participants in the events. From that afternoon, as curious or spectators, the villagers of Medjugorje began to respond to Our Lady's messages. Every day, before Mass, they pray two parts of the Rosary and then a third at the end, as thanksgiving. On Fridays they fast on bread and water, and the spiritual center of each home is the Word of God. As the news of the event had spread very soon and the influx of pilgrims increased considerably, the Marxist regime ordered the priest to be imprisoned, accusing him of wanting to destroy the system. He was given a sentence of three and a half years, but after a year and a half he was released. They then told him that if he had taken a vacation or moved, he would not have been arrested. When Father Yozo was released, he stated. With the apparitions there were crosses, sufferings and difficulties. I soon felt ready for whatever came. I remember that they took me to prison like a criminal. When I found in myself the certainty I was looking for, in relation to the apparitions, I felt ready, even knowing my weakness, to testify to my faith, even at the cost of my own life. Anything I had done, instead of staying there, would have been for me like the kiss of Judas. I thought that for this gift to our time, to the parish, to my people, to the entire church and to the world, I should bear these sacrifices. Nothing altered my serenity, nothing could provoke me, despite the fact that they have methods that they know how to use very well. Actually God was with me, neither interrogations nor torture made me faint. Afterwards I felt happy more satisfied and sure of myself. In short, it was an experience of mercy for me from the first moment. About the seers, Father Yozo mentioned. The young visionaries arrive at the church around six in the afternoon, pray the Holy Rosary with the people and then go to the side room. There they are awaited by priests, nuns and some sick people. On the table they place objects to be blessed by the Virgin, rosaries, letters, small crosses, medals, etc. Suddenly they perceive a light, they fall on their knees and immediately enter into a dialogue with the Heavenly Mother. The people who accompany them at this moment do not see or hear anything, they only perceive that the countenance of the visionaries changes, they see their lips move as if they were really talking to a person, their eyes remain attentive and wide open, directed to the same point, their faces radiate great peace and heavenly brilliance. Sometimes they smile, reflect sadness or cry, then, at the end of the apparition, the Virgin returns to the light, and disappears. On certain occasions after the apparition they have witnessed the symbols of the sun, the cross and the heart, in this regard Vitska commented, the Virgin told us that the sun is a symbol of God the Father who enlightens us, the cross is a symbol of salvation, and the heart is the symbol of the mother's love for all her children, especially for sinners. Today Father Yozo offers spiritual retreats at a monastery in Badaija Island where he is stationed by his Franciscan community. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you.